Hello and welcome back. Today we are continuing our Greece into Byzantium run. This is episode 4 and we should be forming Byzantium today if we can manage to play on speed 5 for most of the time. We are mainly going to be waiting on a truce for the Ottomans to get up. We need to take 3 more territories. If we come into the cultures tab here and look at nation formation, we will see we already have most of Byzantium. We only need the Aegean Islands, Northern Thrace, and Skopje, which we will look to get all in one war if we can. It's kind of a lot of infamy, so whoever's backing us up might not help us anymore but we might even be able to do this without any help from anyone else um, we will see what the war looks like at this time uh, something to note we are taking a lot of states and so because we're just conquering a lot of states straight up we are having to deal quite a bit with turmoil in our newly taken states and so what we will be doing is we will actually be increasing our institution for law enforcement um, up as much as we can we are floating a bunch of extra bureaucracy right now as well that we had gotten from you know taking this in eastern thrace we downgraded it a couple levels last time to kind of try and reach a little bit more of an equilibrium we're losing quite a bit of money right now um but we're gonna try and build into this and also make use of that bureaucracy um as best we can uh, as far as expansion ideas go uh we have taken most of bordeo which is one of the softer more profitable spots now we're expanding down here which is quite a good spot uh to expand because of the gold availability um we do need to decay some infamy and so we won't be doing too too many wars but we could expand more in central america if we wanted but i think that this spot uh taking chinese provinces and uh borneo are kind of some of the better spots we could also go after nej for the late game uh but we will maybe not be playing the late game we're playing to get byzantium and so let's unpause and go we are trying to push economies of scale bonuses, uh, specifically in the capital, which we have here in Thessaly. We're trying to push economies of scale bonuses in both the tooling workshop and the textile mills. Now, I know we can't be fully employed on these, um, so we will be turning up labor-saving PMs, generally speaking, in places that have poor unemployment. But we also should have a ton of migration attraction here if we take a look here. Uh, yes, high migration attraction, we are pulling in migrants, so these problems will be solved eventually through that means. Uh, we also added some naval bases here, uh, and we're recruiting for the barracks and this type of stuff, which is one of the reasons why we are having some problems. We crushed the secession movement. This is also already on this. Okay, so now we will use our handy dandy smacky wacky button to reset the PMs here in Zululand. And I think the rest of our PMs are kind of well set up. Uh, we do have the port. It is on this. So we'll take a look at the infrastructure. And we're using... We need some infrastructure. So we will actually turn this cargo port on. Mainly just for the infrastructure here. And we are starting to make some money. Money moves, that is. Um, we're coming on up. I think we're going to let this... Well, it looks like we're just kind of getting into a good spot here, actually. Uh, let's take a look at our laws. We would like to get on dedicated police force if we can. So let's try and pass that now. Uh, particularly because we are increasing the institution. So this will make this guy a lot more powerful. And so we want to get off of that as soon as... Or, well, we want to get off of it right now, as it were. I My brain blanked. Chemical bleaching, though. We will take a pause and we will swap on over. Uh, is, do we get paper bleaching as well? Yep. I'm just going to quickly scroll through the PMs because my reptile brain did not register what the first tech was that we unlocked. And so if we unlock the new PMs, do want to put the new PMs on. I know scrolling is maybe not the most interesting thing to watch, but uh, looks like we have our queue. The party will never end. Our queue is now... Nope, it's still going. Okay, cool. Yeah, we're mainly going to try and push economies of scale bonus here. Uh, we're encouraging manufacturing. There is a big throughput bonus. They do have a really big positive weekly balance. And they can try and tr give more and more to wages. So the wages will get pushed up, which will help drive migration. You notice the average wage there is much higher. Uh, but maybe we actually just need to calm down a little bit and try and build a little bit elsewhere. And so we're just going to look for other places that... Uh, are having industries and we're going to look to put a single industry in a bunch of places on auto expand uh, so that they will build nice and tall and be nice and profitable see this place is profitable and they don't have employment problems and we'll maybe leave the capital alone for a little bit here now we are doing it in a bunch of places that have turmoil and this turmoil is a problem uh, but 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 
as we noticed, we are increasing the institution and we're incorporating these states, so that should solve. But the turmoil is a pretty big uh, negative uh, in terms of um, adding to, uh, what is it? Uh, the big thing is you really don't want to construct where you have a lot of turmoil uh, because it gives you negative state construction efficiency. And so we're maybe being a little inefficient here. We're making a ton of money, so we're going to want to add some construction as well. I think we will be looking to add it a little bit in kind of some of the newly conquered areas. Do we have not enough infrastructure here? Hmm. Can we switch this up? No, we already swapped that up, so we will add a railway there. So this will be nice. We're making a lot, a lot of money as these places get incorporated and we start getting access to their tax, I think is a big reason why we're having this come up. Um, so we do kind of want to slow down a little bit. Well, we want to keep going fast, but we are trying to... No, we're adding construction. This should come on down. This will be fine. We do also still want to try and focus and lean into the iron. So why don't we maximize this throughput bonus we have here? And we're going to need a railway there, I assume. We'll put that at the front of the queue, because railways take longer to build. We have infrastructure problems here in the western Aegean Islands, where we do not have a port. We were going to try and turn the port up, uh, because we are keeping a lot of our ports on uh, being anchorages, uh, just to help out a little bit. This is kind of a number I'm more comfortable with. We're going to run a bureaucracy problem. Man, I guess we shouldn't have deleted these, but this will be f somewhat fine. I think that we don't have a lot of excess labor in the capital, so for now we will actually increase the government administration over here to deal with that bureaucracy problem. And we don't really need to, uh... Actually, let's start a war. So, I think we want to go after Nezd here, because they do have a lot of oil in the long term. And we don't want someone else to take Nezd in the meantime. So we're actually going to take a little bit of a save. Actually, we could Dominion... So, my general perception has been that when you go after uh, other countries, uh, it makes it so that, um, or when you subjugate unrecognized countries, it really makes it so that uh, great powers like to put their finger in your pie. But we're going to try this anyways, a little bit as an experiment. I'm not sure if it's optimal. We, of course, will actually be able to start a colony there. We had gotten forced out of the colonization game earlier, and now we can kind of get a little bit of a resurgence coming in through here. Nothing too crazy, though, but the construction is coming on out. Last episode, we kind of did finish a little bit of a pop-off in that we, uh, we got uh, proportional taxation, but we also got the very nice mechanized workshop tech, uh, which is pretty strong. Terms of giving you access to new PMs and increasing the economies of scale throughput bonus. We will probably be taking Encourage Resource Industries off sometime soonish here in uh, Peloponnese. But for now, we'll keep it on. That is the edict. Are we even close? So we kind of don't need to juice up the industrialists. They're really strong, they're already happy. Um, but I think I do like juicing up these guys because we are trying to get the workers demarginalized so we can get their bonuses. Right now they're mad at us, but we would be passing laws that they like. Looks like we're going to get in on Iran hey, pretty comfortably. We probably should have put war reps, open market, ban slavery because this is the, these are the things that they uh, kind of come against you for. But we get a dedicated police force here. So we'll take a quick look through our laws. We would want to come off of religious schools. I think we want private public schools, rather. Um, this will make some people happy. I believe it makes the trade unionists happy. We're trying to get them to have a come up. So maybe we'll do that for now. Kind of give a little bit more clout to people who are not the religious groups. And also give us some assimilation. We do want everyone to be Greek. It's all Greek to me. Okay. Well, let's see the timer on their truce here. 67. July 67. Okay, we'll try and keep that number in mind. We're still making money. We can actually afford to be deficit spending uh, as a recognized country. You don't want to do this as an unrecognized country, but we'll put in a bit more here, and let's actually let's see if we can run any trades. Now, Daddy is uh, keeping in charge of the market for the most part, and so for we will want to mainly focus on productive trade routes uh, that we can run. Uh, so we'll just get rid of a couple of these. 
Um, we notably also have very few convoys, so we will be getting very, very productive trade routes because we have most of our things on anchorages and it's less about the volume and we actually care more about profitability. If we come in here and look at the investment pool and look at the reinvestment, we will see the trade centers are actually reinvesting a lot. Normally they don't become very profitable because you care more about, uh, you know, having a large trade volume, but these can be extremely profitable, although this is maybe not the best example, um, because we have so few convoys and they can get such nice margins. And so we'll kind of care a lot more about the margin than we would if we were running our own market here, because daddy will solve uh, the problems for the most part, or we cannot depress or increase uh, the prices uh, super, super highly. But we will take a look here. We do definitely want to import grain as much as we can into the market, we would prefer it. It's not very productive. It's unfortunate. Uh, could we import wood? Well, we're, we have a lot of wood industries ourselves, so maybe we don't want to do this. We are starting to build some of this up. Maybe we could export clothes profitably. Not super profitably. Or furniture, maybe? Again, not super profitably. Fertilizer, you kind of always want to export, though. We could export it to kebab. That's kind of funny. All right, I guess we're not going to run any more trade routes. We're going to just hold our uh, current uh, status as far as bureaucracy goes. We will be getting orangey. Kaf is doing well. You don't see that very often. All right, so let's take a look. Market liberal. Uh, we don't mind them becoming less powerful, and, 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 we don't want to lose the market liberal landowner, because then we'll have some problems. Uh, we want to try and get off of monarchy before we lose the market liberal, so I think that'll actually be next. We enforce on orangey. So now we can probably just Dominion Transvaal as well. We'll take a save, and I'm guessing Great Britain will stick their finger in our pie now that we have an unrecognized subject, which is the MO of them as much as possible. Now, why can't we declare? We should have an interest in South Africa. We have a native interest in South Africa. What are you talking about, my guy? We'll declare an interest over there. Why can I not start a play here? Transvaal is not a subject. Who are you a subject of? Oh, no, no, wait. I just hovered the wrong type of play. Let's take a look. Alright, so why can't I just say Conquer State Transvaal? We have to have an interest in Southern Africa, but we do have an interest in Southern Africa. What are you on about? Why is this... Okay, whatever. We're getting a native interest instead. Okay. So we'll go to Dominion then. We will see if Great Britain, aka Mommy, sticks her finger in our pie. This is really more of a test than anything. This might just kind of end up poorly for us. Uh, we will also put in uh, open market and ban slavery as primary war goals, I think. Uh, let's actually just put war reps. And if they back down, they back down. If mommy joins against us, we'll just load. Just take the slower enactment time. We'll also mobilize the 10 stack in case the front split funny. I kind of don't want to have to attend to it too closely. And the turmoil uh, negatives are going to be greatly decreased by our law enforcement as it's coming on up. Um, Transvaal just backs down. Big nice after Great Britain declares uh, neutrality. So now we have these two, which we will be looking to annex later. They do have quite a lot of gold. We have a decent amount of infamy. We can kind of just chill for now. Labor movement uh, doesn't let you know, but it actually does increase the amount of uh, uh, pop attraction to the trade unionists. So we might be able to get a powerful trade unionist off of here. Let's take a look at technology and see what we can do. We have a lot of bad tier two techs. We kind of want to let that spread to go through on. Uh, Generally, mill tech's not that great to go for. So it might just be pharmaceuticals into quinine. Because we are going to open up a new front. Central banking is coming to us anyways. Modern suits would be a decent shout. But I think we'll just do this for now. 
because we are re-establishing uh, frontage uh, with which to colonize after we annex Orangey. Uh, of course, this is in the future where we have not already become Byzantium, which is what we're looking to do anyways. Let's take a look and see how migration has managed to pick up employment. It looks like it's doing pretty well on the clothes. Uh, but the wages are quite high, which should be pulling people in. If we take a look at the population, we should see a kind of higher SOL here than in a lot of other places. A little bit higher, not way higher. Not as much higher as I would have liked. Um, these are really high because the buildings are so profitable because we have a really high throughput. Uh, iron's pretty efficient to begin with. Can't go Steam Donkey yet. Steam Donkey's maybe in our future. Um, but yeah, really high throughput on top of uh, the PM being generally pretty efficient. But the throughput is going to get capped here at 20, right? Uh, whereas the throughput here won't get capped. That's why we were trying to push it. Unfortunately, just kind of struggling on that front a little bit. We do have a bunch of auto expansion coming in. Why don't we take in and go after construction, of course. We'll actually have pause. So we can now bankroll people, but we're not going to do this just yet. Macedonia has none. But we are kind of taking off here. As we get our incorporations, we get our taxes, investment pool is cranking up. You generally want the investment pool to be shrinking or non-existent as a heuristic, but this can also be hard to do. And we get public schools. So now, we are going to try and see... If we can come off of monarchy and go parliamentary republic, this will radicalize the landowners um, and the church, but we also kind of look to weaken the church by switching the schools. So the church are only going to be 3% clout. Landowners get pissed and they leave. Uh, and so can we make a more legitimate government? No, we cannot. But the landowners want to join the free trade party, but they're pissed. Is this rev? So this is just Attica that will rev which we can handle. Uh, or is this Attica and Peloponnese? We can handle this. And so we will let this rev occur. It is destined to occur. And we'll just kind of chill for now. Uh, and this will allow us to get rid of the landowners. And then if it doesn't occur, uh, you know, we'll get Parliamentary Republic and we'll kind of get rid of them anyways. Uh, we'll just come in and add some more construction. We want to be losing a little bit of money. We want to stop. We want to get this investment pool to stop growing. And so this is kind of how we're approaching this. We are going to need quite a bit more iron, though. So let's take a look and see where is the place that we can maybe build an iron mine and we can really start pushing the economies of scale. Bonus there. Uh, we want it to generally have a higher uh, max amount. So we see Western Thrace looks pretty good. Let's see how much turmoil we have in Western Thrace. So it's going to construct a little bit slower, but. It's not way slower. Um, and so we'll give it a try here. So we'll first see how much infrastructure we have. We have a ton. Perfect. So we'll just add 10 in the back of the queue. And then we will add a railway here. And then we'll put this on auto expand. And, oh, it's already on auto expand. We'll put this on auto expand as well. And then we'll be off and away. This will probably actually pop. We'll see. Maybe their clout is overall decreasing, but they are radicalizing, so um, it will slowly, slowly grow, and this is kind of just a cusp where uh, we're probably going to see a rev here. Trade unions are now influential. This is a really big deal because now we are getting increased manufacturing throughput, which is incredibly powerful. It just makes it so we have 10% more of a building everywhere. Um, it's also very, very powerful at this point in the game where, main, where throughput bonuses are relatively low. So we take a look, uh, you know, here, for example, where we are encouraging manufacturing, we have a throughput of 42%. So maybe this isn't the best example, but like, let's go look here. We have a th throughput bonus of 13%, three of it's from economies of scale. So the more economies of scale bonus bonuses you have, proportionally the less important trade union this is. And so right now it's particularly useful um, because we d just generally don't have a lot already, but it's still incredibly useful, as is the workforce ratio, which is going to allow more people to work. Um, I believe this is not like a light switch in that it uh, creates a new equilibrium that you trend towards in terms of having people uh, dependent versus gainfully employed, this type of thing. 
but this puts us in really good shape. We've gone through a lot of wars, we've lost some people, we have not the best workforce ratio now, so this should help out quite a bit. Um, and uh, we definitely want these guys to have a come up, we would want these guys to get to 20% clout. Unfortunately, with the really, really strong industrialists, this will be difficult, but having them just at 5% is also fantastic. It will also allow us to go multiculturalism which I suppose we maybe want to kind of work our way towards human rights if we can. Um, so we'll probably be doing society tech for a while now. But this is a this is a nice inflection point. We're going to get our revs as well. Free trade party crushes it. Oh no, we got a revolution. Uh, notably, I think daddy helps us anyways. So um, <laughs> we really didn't need to worry. And this will make it easy for us to pass Parliamentary Republic. We will need to reset the PMs. We're going to struggle a little bit economically. Uh, we're going to add a consumption tax here on tobacco. But overall, this is pretty fine. We are also decaying infamy, so we like we have time to do this sort of thing. This sort of nonsense. I think, what was the, when is this up? When is our truce up so we can form Byzantium? <clears throat> we got to go to Diplomacy. It's in 67, so really soon here, July 67. So we will not start another war until it's time to go after them in order to form, you know, uh, Byzantium. So this will be pretty nice. We'll enforce pretty quick here. The easiest civil war ever. Ripper, gruesome Warders will bring them to justice. Hopefully they don't delete a bunch of construction centers. Uh, this is kind of an annoying feature of civil wars. They can delete a bunch of, looks like they have deleted some construction centers. And maybe some naval bases, too. That's kind of annoying. Uh, we'll just make these guys mad. They're already super mad. And their clout's going to be zero after this civil war, because they did just rev. Versus. Didn't need daddy's help. Daddy didn't really help us anyways, though. We don't need daddy's money to, for this startup. This Byzantium startup. Uh, we are making a decent amount of money here, somehow, despite having, like, you know, like, 200-ish construction. Fractional distillation and parliamentary public are both in. So let's swap our PMs here to patent stills. And let's take a look at, oh, baby, parliamentary republic. You love to see it. Look at this righteousness. So that's going to help out a lot on that front. And also, it's going to help us to move towards having a powerful intelligentsia and a powerful trade union, which we really would like. Um, and so, let's see if we can get off of wealth voting or see how mad this makes the industrialists. So we're going to pass something. We want to keep the industrialist bonus. And this is kind of uh, a little more nuanced thing you can care about with laws. It's really not the case that we, like, absolutely, sorry, that we absolutely need, like, census suffrage now. Uh, but it will help us uh, in some ways. But we see that it's going to bring the industrialist clout from 10 to 5. We really like the industrialist bonus, which is giving us 20% uh, investment pool contribution efficiency. And so what we can do is we can pass a law that they are going to like first, like, you know, poor laws, which kind of everyone likes, and then we can swap over on the other thing. Um, to something they don't like and still kind of maintain the bonus a little bit. Uh, so why don't we pass poor laws, uh, which will also institute welfare, but we don't it's, we don't have that much unemployment anyway, so this is not too big a deal. We are going to need more bureaucracy when this happens. So let's take a quick look. How are we doing on central archives not spreading? So maybe we actually force central archives through faster and then do pharmaceuticals into quinine and do this to cover our bureaucracy. We're, of course, going to have to use our smacky wacky button to reset the PMs of Attica and Peloponnese. And we actually probably need to actually take a closer look and you manually put on some stuff because we did want them to be on railroads where they don't have a lot of uh, um, labor, which is the case. All right, welcome back. Hopefully you didn't delete too many naval bases. We're in good shape. We have a bunch of construction going. We're losing a little bit of money, kind of where we want to be. We're waiting till July, and then we are going to take the rest of our land back and form Byzantium. So maybe this episode will be super, super short. We'll see. Um, we will see. 
And these will be very profitable. I'm glad we uh, found another spot that we can kind of push economies of scale on here. For the iron, specifically. We can actually probably push it here, too. If I'm not mistaken. But we definitely want to do gold mines first. Now, yeah, we're going to actually put some gold mines in here. In the queue as well. Uh, because we are no longer on turmoil here. So we're going to put these at the front of the queue, really. And we're going to put these on better PMs. This might have been why they weren't auto-building. Because the PMs, uh, the all-natural PMs, were not very good. We get poor loss. So now... Okay, we've got some problems in a couple spots, but we will be able to now go census suffrage, and the industrialists won't get super mad. This will provoke an event that will give us a radical, though, and actually we're not close enough, I don't think. Uh, we should have waited. We're actually not, so, once you have human rights, then you can pass multiculturalism, so you actually don't want to provoke uh, the path to liberalism before then, which we would get if we went census suffrage. But, hmm, patronize realist art. What do we have to do for this? Do we have to get a, one to level five? Okay. That's probably doable. And it has to be fully employed. I think we can do this here, though. So let's kick that up. Yeah. Okay. So we can pass something that they don't like very much, though, which was the entire point. And so we're going to do this, and notice it minus fives them from 15 to 10. So they'll still be happy because we passed the poor laws first. And this way we get to keep everyone happy and still restrict child labor, which, you know, is important sometimes. Okay. And we are waiting till July. Perhaps we would have made wanted to accumulate some sort of bank, but I'm pretty sure this last Ottoman war is going to be easy peasy lemon squeezy uh, if great powers do not join against us because we did this, which they probably will, so we probably shot ourselves in the foot. We The gold mines should help out quite a bit, though. Let's see if we can build gold mines down here. We can. We'll put one in the queue. We'll check the infrastructure. Uh, we do have a bit of turmoil here. So maybe we'll put that gold mine at the back, because it will build slowly. A scandal in Thessaly? You're telling me. What does this guy do? Ooh, uh, we kind of want him to resign. Kind of, yeah, let's have him resign. We don't like the pacifist overall. Um, and who do we get instead? We get this dork. Uh, who is giving us way less authority, which is unfortunate. But we'll just take out a couple consumption taxes. This will be fine. him and he's not happy with us we were hoping for someone who would be a little bit more happy and this is not the case oh well um they're unhappy because we're trying to restrict child labor unfortunately okay july august yep so we'll take a quick save here and we will start our war to form byzantium oh how time flies all right so we'll come in here <laughs> we can dominion them that's funny we're not going to but uh uh, we're gonna go after Northern Fra Thrace, uh, Skopje, and the, the Aegean Islands. So let's do that. Northern Thrace. We can sway Daddy. Daddy looks like the only one we can sway, so we will be swaying him. Uh, East Aegean Islands. And... Scopia. And we will also go for... We'll see how much infamy it's going to take to... Let's see. We could offer him an obligation. We can offer ban slavery. I think we're going to offer ban slavery. I believe that's 20 maneuvers, but let's just double check. Okay, it's 20. So we'll go for war reparations. And then we will be turning the wheel over to Daddy. Daddy, take the wheel... You're in charge of this war now, after we've already spent all the maneuvers, and we'll ban slavery in the Ottoman Empire. We'll mobilize everyone, put people on fronts. I think we also could, in theory, fight this war by ourselves, but, um... Why solve your problems when Daddy will solve them for you? An important question. Big Giga Chad Germany, over here. Siding with us... He's going to travel. He's going to contribute. Uh, he might back down, which would be a bit unfortunate. Hopefully they don't back down. Uh, that will be awkward, because then we will have to do another war. We will just only get Northern Thrace. Uh, 
Um, maybe we should have made some of those war other war goals primary. Uh, if we have to fight another one, we will do that. Alright, we will loosen the purse strings and restrict some child labor. Or actually, I think we will just come off of this. I uh, really don't like that we minus their pop attraction. Uh, we are trying to keep them a high enough clout level that they can, uh, well, be useful to us, but also so that we can get their bonuses, because they have to stay above 4%. So we could maybe go Rights of Assembly now. Landowners hate it, but whatever. This will increase tech spread as well, which is always nice. We're starting to get a decent amount of research as well here. I think we will build this uni tall, though. As far as this goes, and we get cross-border investments. Uh, we'll take that ourselves, and then, ooh, actually we shouldn't have, because we kind of care right now about, yeah, that's unfortunate. We care right now about the capitalists liking us. Oh, they do like us, because we stopped trying to pass the law they hate. Okay, fair enough. It looks like this war is going to go. Pop off. No back down. Hell yeah, brother. We're going to be getting Byzantium after this. Uh, we're not going to conscript anything. This war is, like, going to be a bit of a roll. Um, poor, poor Kebab has just been getting crushed. That's what they get for 500 years ago dismantling, you know, the Byzantine Empire. It's like we're making, yeah, this is, this is a wipe. This is a wipe. This bad news bears for them. That's exactly what this is. We get Central Archives. Happy day. Uh, so now we can just come in here and solve our bureaucracy problem like that. Ba-bam. Which was the plan. We actually might be able to bring some more of this stuff up. I guess we don't really care about colonial affairs right now. We get Rights of Assembly. Hey yeah. So now we can go Guaranteed Lives. Which we will do. We must guarantee the libs. We're starting to get a lot of money from our minting from our mines, which is quite nice. We're getting 6k from the mines. Uh, one of the reasons why taking Borneo early is extremely strong, and also one of the reasons why taking Orangey and Transvaal is strong. We will be looking to annex them next after this. I think we're still going to play a normal episode length, even though we're forming Byzantium here. Oop, we have a bunch of construction not used. So, we will come in, and I think we'll check, see how much infrastructure we have. So, we're going to actually put in a railway, and then put in five of these iron mines, and then we're also going to need a bit of tooling workshops. So, we'll put in five of these. We'll put in a railway at the front, because we'll probably need it. And then we're also going to come in here. I'm just checking for gold. Let's see how much our infrastructure... So we're going to put this at the front with the queue, and then we'll maybe put some iron mines at the back of the queue with auto-expand, because we do want to get the iron. I think we're exporting iron. I can't remember. But the iron is a construction good, so it being cheap is good. And then when you have a bunch of iron mines, it being expensive is also fine, uh, because all your industries will be profitable, and so you don't really care. But if you don't have a bunch of iron mines, iron being expensive is bad. Right? Or you don't care a lot. You're pretty neutral on it. Um, we should also maybe uh, focus a bit on the logging. So why don't we do this? And we'll just put a few things in auto expand, uh, which does make it a little bit easier to uh, manage the queue. Um, and we get the Ottoman Empire. Now, we don't have enough authority to incorporate everything, but let's just do this. And then I think we'll have enough. Uh, maybe not. Let's... Incorporate, incorporate, yeah, we got enough, incorporate, hell yeah, brother, and uh, maybe we should take a screenshot here, let's get rid of this, so we can take our nice screenshot, before and after, um, yeah, we definitely want the intelligentsia to have a come up and get above 20% clout, so we'll take a screenshot, apologies for my screenshot while recording, I don't want to, uh, but bam and then, and then, and then, and then, here's the moment, here it is. We have 12 out of 12, so we can form... Wait, what? Oh my god. We have to be not on monarchy? This is terrible. <laughs> oh! 
How do we get back? <laughs> ah! <laughs> well, uh, <laughs> all right. Let's let's have to think how we can possibly get back. <laughs> we can't pass anything to make him powerful, though. <laughs> Here's our landowner. They ain't doing nothing. What you doing? Nothing. <sighs> all right. Well, uh, <laughs> oh, consider this episode 4.5, I guess, uh, or sorry, 3.5. <laughs> I think we're going to redo this episode. <laughs> uh, I mean, okay, okay, let's, let's just have a quick thing before we decide, uh, whether or not to redo it. These guys are going to be coming up because they're currently depressed because of uh, a revolution. So realistically, how hard would it be to go back to monarchy? Obviously not ideal, but... Uh, trade unionists hate it, intelligentsia hate it. So... I'm going to do something I think I've never done before in this game. I'm going to bolster the landowners. We're gonna try and get monarchy back. <laughs> that is uh, not what we wanted. We had to get rid of so many consumption taxes. This is fine though. This is gonna uh, stimulate our our stuff. Uh, <laughs> stimulate our stuff. Okay. Uh, oh, Jesus. Can we not yet. So, I'm <laughs> so scuffed. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Alright, I think we're gonna... We're gonna make these guys upset when we switch back to monarchy. So... <laughs> so <laughs> we just uh, force this rev so we can switch back to monarchy. <laughs> so we can switch to parliamentary republic only to be like, whoops. We don't know how to read. Didn't realize we had to be on a monarchy. That's hilarious. It's also like uber scuffed, but like, uh, it's fine, I guess. Uh, let's see, let's take a look. You guaranteed libs, fantastic. I guess it's mainly just chill here. Um, let's not go to census suffrage yet. We could go presidential republic, no one hates that. I think we will be trying to get this guy. Look at him, look at him. Look at him. Oh, wait. Please? Recover? Oh, God. We were, like, so happy they were marginalized forever. We are running some negative bureaucracy, so we're gonna come in here. Ooh, why is this not all? Oh, we didn't use our smacky-wacky button. Okay, we'll, we will do that. Uh, let's do this. that and then we will switch all these to standardize and then let's say the unis can help maybe We're losing some money there's a movement for this We'll radicalize the landowners, but we're about to make them big happy anyways, but... Oh, we have to be able to put the landowners in government. We can't get them super mad. Okay. Gotta think. Gotta think, 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 think. Oh my god. That's embarrassing. We didn't know. We didn't know! SLL is coming up, though, uh, which is kind of nice, because we should be able to siphon off pops from uh, Germany. As that kind of comes up. We do have a lot of infamy, I think, still. Or a decent amount. I guess it's not a lot. 
We're in a good spot here. These are auto expanding. We cannot find full employment. We really. So eventually, kind of in the nearest future, we are going to want to find a place with a bunch of pops. So. Uh, we're probably going to want to take a Chinese province as. We're going to want to annex these guys and then take a Chinese province as our next war. And then pass multiculturalism and then use that to solve our labor problems. It's probably going to be what we do. Let's see if we need to recruit a general in anywhere. Anatolia HQ. Guy just needs to get promoted. And maybe recruit an admiral. Nope. Okay, we're cool. We're chilling. Not that we're starting to fight, so I guess it doesn't matter. Just having a nice little come up. We are almost done colonizing there. Which is nice when we get orangey. Uh, annex, we will be able to colonize in through here. I guess we could take this from Amon to be able to get this colonization route as well, to be able to maybe get a little bit of something. Um, we could ask Daddy for help against Great Britain. This would actually probably be a, a good shout to, like, uh, take Guinea and be able to get, uh, the Mosque of Genet and just ask Daddy. Daddy, we want the Mosque of Genet for our birthday. Will you help us get it? This type of thing, etc. Um, no, it's not super productive. Can't export this productively, though. <clears throat> Which is not something we hate, because we have a ton of iron mines built up. It will increase our construction costs, but then we just... Um, you know, we get more investment pool transfer from our iron mines being more profitable. This type of thing. Ugh. Girl, what happened to your market access? Girl. Oops, let's make sure all of our railroads are also subsidized. They are. This is an important thing. Where do we have barracks? Let's swap all this to skirmish. Baking powder. So I think in here, we're not necessarily using labor-saving PMs, and we do need labor. Uh, I guess we kind of are. Mines are just very profitable. Whistle stop tour. We'll just do that one. We'll check in on our boyo. Jesus. He's not coming back. Baby, come back. Oh, this is so scuffed. We can't put anyone in government who would support support the monarchy at this current juncture. I mean, maybe we should just be bolstering the uh, petite bourgeoisie instead. Or something like this. Jesus, this is so scuffed. We ruined the Byzantium plan. What will we do? God. Where I ruined it. I didn't realize. Need monarchy. <laughs> so bad. Let us go back. We're bolstering this guy even. We could we could do the church instead, I suppose. God, I've never ever bolstered those guys ever in my life. Um we actually kinda like this institution. But we don't want the radicals. We don't really need the juice. Ah, uh, whatever. We're just gonna do this, and then we're gonna come in, and we're just gonna re-increase it back up. Actually, no, yeah, we are. This is important. We're actually gonna add a whole bunch of stuff, and so then we'll need more. Uh, this. Let's see if we have insufficient tax capacity anywhere. No, we don't. So we'll add a couple of these to the back of the queue. 
We're adding him there because we get through the bonus economy scale. Okay. Uh, unfortunately, landowners did not have a bit of a come up. Um, we can go for this. Let's see how mad people get at us. Pretty mad. Oh, man. God, that's so scuffed. We need monarchy. It's terrible. Shake my head a million times. I don't know what to do. Other than cry, I guess. Take a save, go after Orangey. Oh, God. Push economies to scale here, I guess. Do you have 10 infrastructure available, my guy? Yeah, you, or you need 15-ish. Eh, we'll put this at the back. It'll figure itself out. Oh, that was two techs. We can only click to escape once. I wonder if that's a bug. Oh, we definitely want that to be making cannons. Uh, we're just looking through the PMs to see if we acquired new PMs somewhere. Why is that on that? It must have been when we swapped over on an auto swap, it swapped like that. Gotta hate it, man. Can we put the landowners in government? Okay, thanks. Maybe they're just never coming back. Sometimes they just never come back. We're trying to bolster them up. Yeah, they're just flatlining. These guys are gonna come back enough, though. And these guys will, too. I guess uh, the one we like the most is the Petite Bourgeoisie out of the three of these. We could switch stuff, a bunch of stuff to be uh, mer merchant owned. You know it's actually not an inefficient swap to be merchant owned? Big brain hour actually here. Big brain. So first of all, we can build more of these. So in, we have one in Scopia, let's build more. Because these are Merchant Guild owned. Yes, they're shopkeepers, which will be more petite bourgeoisie than normal. Um, and then also, we're going to swap these on to all of them be Merchant Guild owned, which of course is not as good as privately owned. But if they're all Merchant Guild owned, this will empower the, uh, the other boyos. And then we'll build more fish. And this is how we will try and recover. So we're just going to... Make sure every place has one fish thing, and then we're going to come into the rural, and we will set the fish on auto-expand. And this should do it. And then in order to push demand for fish, big brain hour here, we're going to build a lot more of this. So we'll just take a look. We have kind of a good decent amount, so we'll push this here, and then we will add uh, at the back a railroad, a, a railroad, a railroad, and do that. Okay, fantastic. So this should allow us to juice up this guy enough. And he's also a market liberal, so we should be able to get him in government uh, relatively easy, because he'll want to be in the free trade party anyways. Okay, okay, okay. I think we got it. I think we got it. We got the master plan. We have the master plan. It's going to be a masterpiece. I do love bureaucracy, but I like tech. And we got... Oh, baby. It's all, it's all coming together here. Tax liquor, yeah, let's go, baby. We're increasing construction. I love it when a plan comes together. That obviously has nothing to do with what we talked about, but uh, we're gonna pretend like it does. The very awkward temporary monarchy. Yeah, this is coming on up. This is coming up. I wonder if we swap a bunch of stuff back if this would... I just can't do it. It's just gonna hurt my soul if to do it. To swap a bunch of stuff to being... Alright, what's the most efficient building we could swap to being shopkeeper owned? Or we could just build more because it's already shopkeeper owned. Shipyards? Does Eastern Thrace have the bonus? But we can export... We can export ships. Right? 
to help encourage these buildings being built. <laughs> to kebab, he wants some boats. They also don't take a lot of convoys, so this is not the worst export any like in the abstract. It's, no one wants them though. Come on, bud. You can do it. You traditionalist, you. We need you. Oh, wait. What happened? I thought you were market liberal. That's unfortunate. We annex an RNG, though. Big happy. So we will come in, use our smacky wacky button. And now, I guess we'll save first. God, I kind of don't want to, but uh, I think if Great Britain joins against us, we won't be very happy with that. So we'll annex these guys now. Which will be a decent amount of infamy. I think that these are European descent, so we'll actually incorporate them as well. We have five year incorporation. We will need a little bit more bureaucracy. We love it. Love to see it. God, this is so scuffed. We, we had like Byzantium in 30 minutes, man. And then small brain Peter was like, hey, I really like Parliamentary Republic. Let's not read the requirements for forming Byzantium and instead just, you know, go Parliamentary Republic right away. This would be great. They are coming on up, though. This is recovering. I mean, I guess we could massage it more if we really wanted to. These are auto queue buildings. This is fantastic. Pushing economies of scale. Let's go, baby. Let's just look at goods in the market. Kind of real quick. Haven't done that in a while. We do definitely want this to be cheap. So we'll look to import it. Not using a lot of convoys, so all of our convoy based trading is generally pretty productive. I guess we are going to need more of this though. For that. Alright, let's take a look at maybe getting rid of some roots that are not very. Yeah, let's get rid of that. And. No, I kind of like all these roots though. I guess maybe the boats one was a little bit ambitious. We kind of like all this though. What is this? I hate that generals can die and then this happens. It's so obnoxious. Now he's just gonna occupy all the territory. It's gonna be a great fun. Alright, we'll do that. We do want to get this guy to come, to come up. The nine's gonna be nice. Because now we can establish some colonies. So obnoxious, the general dying thing. Just uh, absolutely glued to. We got stamp out monarchism. No. No. We'll put the path behind us, but I think this makes it so they don't support monarchism anymore. And just the petite bourgeoisie. We need them. God. This is terrible. The terrible no good episode. Just uber scuffed now. This is so slow. Oh, and he's stalling out. He stalled out. This is so bad. <laughs> we just can't do it because we can't go back to monarchy. It is too hard to go back to monarchy. We can't click the button and we want to. Alright, uh, this is going to be episode 3.5.
uh, uh, this episode, we uh, forgot how to read, and so we got all the states we needed to form Byzantium, but unfortunately, you still have to be a monarchy. Um, so we will not be... Sw <laughs> we will Next episode, we will be loading from the same time period or the same start, uh, but we will instead uh, be not getting rid of monarchy right before we get all the states we need to form Byzantium. That's what we will be doing. Um, we also talked a little bit about expanding that here, but this is the, the story is our big dumb dumb hour, where uh, we failed to form Byzantium, and I don't think we can get back on monarchy in like a timely fashion at all. Uh, you know. Yeah, I just don't think we can't go back up this tree to try and make them powerful. I'm not even sure they support it anyways. Yeah, they don't even support it naturally anyways because we did stomp out monarchism. That was the end of the dream, the stamping out of the monarchism. So, I hope you enjoyed this little bit of Greece. Um, yeah, have a good one. <laughs>